Peace, y'all. I'm going to hop on here and get into this interesting topic. This video I came past on um, Instagram of Jennifer uh, Lewis um, asking a question, uh, is Jesus black, uh, most black women's husband? And that's an interesting topic um, I wanted to get into. You know, I wanted to play this video because, you know, um, throughout the, even throughout the black churches, you see a lot of women that say, I don't need a man. I don't need a husband long as I got Jesus. And that seems to be like the model of, you know, the black woman as far as the religious black woman is that I don't need a husband. I don't need a man as long as I got Jesus. So I wanted to go ahead and get into this clip real quick of Jennifer Lewis kind of, um, you know, breaking it down real quick. So make sure y'all hit that like button. And you know, I'm going to say this out loud. Jesus, who is most black women's husband? Mm. Y'all better come with me here. Say that again. I'm here. Jesus is most black women's husbands. You see, they did a number on us. We are a conquered race. Fact. They put the black man out of the house in order for the want the, the, the black mother to get welfare. The man couldn't be in the house. Mm. He had to be working. Of course, they wouldn't give him a job. Y'all better come with me. Mm. We come from some shit. Mm -hmm. These women. Facts. If you watch a movie called Claudine with James Earl Jones in it, um, and uh, I forgot the other woman's name, but I'm pretty sure y'all know in the chat. Movie Claudine expressed that where she was on welfare and then you know, she got with James Earl Jones, you know, and they became, you know, started dating. But the social worker, they would have to hide from the, hide him from the social worker and all the, the gifts that he bought the children and, you know, um, the white, uh, the girlfriend. They had to hide all the appliances and stuff that he bought and all the gifts. And that's how it was. It was always, you know what I mean? Like the welfare state came in and kind of broke up the home where the black man had to be out of the home. And, you know what I mean? In order for the black woman to get, uh, you know, public, you know, public assistance or whatever. So, and then, you know, the church kind of played a part in it, into that where the single woman, the preachers was preaching to the women that the, you know, uh, as long as you got God, don't worry about a man, don't worry about a, you know, and that kind of like broke up the family structure as well. Well, played a part in it. You know what I'm saying? So um, I wanted to actually get into um this video too by the sister. Um, you know what I mean? By the sister Sharahza Ali, where she breaks down how the family structure um you know, was destroyed and how the black woman became, you know, had the independent mindset of, I don't need a man and, you know, that whole ordeal and how everything led up to that. So let's go ahead and get into this video real quick. All right. I keep telling black women that to uh, raise a child, they say, well, I uh, provided with food, clothing and shelter. That's not raising a child. That's maintaining one. To raise a child, you need a parental coalition of a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. We have sons who, are, by not having a father in the home, they don't know how to respect women. They take on the uh, black feminine, female emotionalism. Right. Emotionalism. They become bitchy. They're doubtful. They're indecisive. They can't make a decision. They don't know what to do about being a man, but we can't teach them that. We don't have that knowledge. We have daughters who grow up in a home where they don't see any affection, where there's no man there. They go out into the world and try to mate. They don't have no idea how to be no woman to no man, how to function in a house with a man, because they haven't seen it. Most of our children, just like us, get all the information we have about how you be with a mate off television. It's the only medium that shows us anybody being together. Those rules have not worked for us. I keep and then, and then, even by the TV shows, it kind of, you know, broke down the black family where the husband was taken out of the home um, and the black woman just, you know, basically depending on herself. So you had shows like the Cosby show, you had shows like Good Times and Jefferson's and all that. Um, then you start getting early, 
you know, start getting later on down the line when we start getting more to uh, the late 90s and early 2000s, we start seeing reality reality TV creep in. And that just did a whole number on us completely. Yeah, I mean, so I understand the mindset of where, you know, what they talking about, because we've seen the transition happen, you know? Yeah, I mean, so it's either the man is being a thug or the woman is being some type of like over-sexualized, you know, stripper, or they always want to push that in our faces constantly. Yeah, I mean, so, and it goes back to these black churches, man. A lot of these black churches and these preachers be up there preaching to these women and telling them they don't need a man, just depend on Jesus and Jesus will be your husband and all that. I'll Trust me, I've been to the churches and sat in there and actually witnessed that. You know what I mean? And I'm like, what the hell is he talking about? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to hop on here real quick and just, you know, talk about something a little different real quick. Um, so if you haven't, make sure you smash that like button, man. And um, I'll catch you next, uh, you know, next premiere, next video. All right, peace.